Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown. But the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. G'day, welcome to Marrakesh. This is Morocco. There's a lot of people here. There's a bit of a controversy going on at the consulate at the moment. <laughs> and I just love how crowded this place is. Uh, which way do I have to go this way? Anyway, I got this more planned out than last time. Last time I'm in bloody uh, Sapienza, Italy, things went a bit crazy and it was mostly <laughs> combat. <laughs> oh man, Morocco is just so beautiful. Uh, anyway, I'll tell you a bit about the story. Or at least the setting. Uh, so this is in Morocco, in Marrakesh. I'm not sure if it's the capital, I don't know that much about Morocco. They, they love their lights. It's beautiful. They also love smoking these things. What are they called? Blend in this custom. I don't know what they're called, whatever. But you can poison them, but I don't need to today. Anyway, I'll go to the consulate, the embassy, I guess. It's uh, this way. So the story is that there's a Swedish banker and he stole a bunch of money somehow through some kind of scam or something. He stole like a billion dollars or some crazy amount. Oh, I don't want to go in there. She's selling fedoras? I should kill her later. Uh, so this Swedish banker stole a ton of money. This is a beautiful market. And now he's in the consulate. He actually, um, no, goddamn. He stole a bunch of money and then his... The van which he was being transported to jail in was, uh broken into by the the army and not just any army it's an army by um, a certain general which they're attempting a coup it's, it's by these guys here I could just about strangle you. Oh. stomach cramps what kind of idiot eats shellfish from a buffet in this heat relax Pam I hired a local cameraman he's a freelance guy he'll be fine oh well if you're not worried Tyler then I'm not worried after all it's not like this is a very important interview I mean, it's certainly not like it's an exclusive or anything. Pam, you remember that talk we had about low blood sugar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one of those times. <laughs> so where is this guy anyway? I'm right here. Yeah. here. And you, this is the opportunity I'm going to be tracking. There's actually a few Charles opportunities Strandberg I want to be doing. Charles has agreed to an exclusive interview with celebrity GNN reporter Pam Kingsley, no doubt to enrage the public even further. This could be a way inside the lockdown consulate. And the replacement cameraman, a local freelancer, is yet to arrive. So uh, right now I'm out the front of the consulate. You can see that there's some guards there and I won't be able to get past them. I need some kind of disguise or some key card. But there's also a secret underneath this level, almost around the entire level. A bit like the last level, but this is a consulate. You see there's Sweden, Europe, uh, Morocco flag, I think. Yeah, that's Moroccan flag. Uh, so the story is that this Swedish guy stole a bunch of money and then an army broke him out of jail. It broke him out of jail during uh, transport. So, <laughs> uh, they put him here. That's where he is. So, it's being guarded by this army. That isn't the, the official Moroccan army. It's uh, some kind of... Um, uh, well, it, they're going against the government's wishes, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, I need to go disguise myself as this cameraman. I always collect these scissors for some reason. It's always good to just have a backup plan. You know, I... I collect stuff in Hitman games, just, you know, what of it. The cameraman, though, is... Oh, there's so many people around here, I love it. The cameraman is... Oh, shit, he's right here. I hear this big shot producer from GNN on the phone with an agency desperate to get a cameraman for an interview with Claus Hugo Strandberg. Strandberg, the, the banker. Do you ever watch the news? Anyway, I tap him on the back, show him my press pass, and the guy is so relieved that he just pays me a month's salary up front. Of course I'm not wow. going to do it. There's no way I'm getting near that place. Besides, I've got all this nice free money, and the dunce doesn't even know my real name. <laughs> Would you believe I said my uh. name was Finley? <laughs> right, so I'm at the shisha place down near the bazaar. Whenever you can sneak out, come and join me, okay? Smoke is on me. Scumbag. Must have ripped these people off because he's already been paid. Alright, guess I gotta kill him. Do I kill him or should I just Looking knock him out? Today, sir. Uh, yes, I am. Tired. See? They're all smoking this thing. Is this what Morocco is like though? Hello there. Hello. Please have your uh, invite ready. 
Yeah, I'm not allowed in there. Plus, I'm carrying a weapon at the moment. I got a pistol. Uh, to get in there, there's a few other ways. I could go through the carpet shops over there, climb over the, the rooftops, and climb in there, and I end up in a bathroom, of course. Or, actually, I don't think I've been in here. Wow, that, that's why it's useless. You know, what are these things? Are these, like, spices? If they are spices, why are there so many? And they're just so colorful. No, who, sister? Hello, let's check out your shop. Nice shop. You got a lot of uh, Moroccan lamps, like um, a lot of places around here. Damn. <laughs> okay, I was hoping you wouldn't see that. Uh, uh, wait. Oh. Look, Larson. I'm sorry to dump this to you, but I've been waiting six months for this transfer. I'll grab this opportunity. Just because Alanda made an asshole. I don't care if she saw me. Cause I'm a hitman, you know. I'm a rebel. Oh. Hey, that was a crime. Get out huh? here right now. Don't care. Wake up. Something serious is going on. Hey, what is it? Uh, yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. They weren't supposed to see me. Just uh, I don't know. I'll edit that out. Uh, this is the bathroom I was talking about. Oh, he's right here. So, I'll overflow the sink. It's like a tradition in Hitman to do that. And for some reason, the person who was closest, you know, they'll just come in here and stop it, or just to come check it out. A bit like Metal Gear Solid knocking on the wall. Will you look at this shit? Come on! So this guy is a bit of an asshole, honestly. So, what's the most brutal way I could kill him? Uh, strangle to death, gunshot to the head, scissors. I've this done scissors before, it. but find another spot, buddy. This is taken, okay? You'll pay for. <laughs> Yeah. Slow death right in the chest. So I'm going to disguise myself as him. Um, maybe I shouldn't have done that because he's bleeding everywhere now. Anyway, my name will be Finley and I'll meet up. I'll go grab that courtyard card. My name will... Hello? Ignore that blood. I'm... <laughs> Hemorrhoids, man. Hey, photo man. Your guy's clear. Photo man, are you serious? Maybe he just took the money. Uh, finally, where have you been? Sorry, I'm late. Street sides. Right, we're going? Alright, so I'm part of the news crew here. I'm the cameraman without a bloody camera. You know, <laughs> like, uh, I know how. How's it going? You're a cameraman too, you're a photography camera. So this should get us through to the console. Even though I have a, a pistol on me, these guys are ready to start a riot. They won't really start a riot though. As far as they know, I'm the cameraman. I'm Finley. They've never met me. Oh, they've never met that guy which was just killed. And he was going to take the money and not do the job. The other way in here is a door around there. Uh, then I could have disguised myself as a security guard, but the security guards would notice me because obviously they work together. Remember, technically, Stromberg has not been convicted of any crime. So, we're not allowed to ask directly about the location of the seven building. Oh, he stole seven billion from Morocco. Remember when millions used to be a lot of money? And you, aim and shoot. This is it, guys. You made it. Most impressive, forty-seven. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. All right, this is a Swedish consulate, the Swedish embassy, I guess. This place is huge. I've spent so long around here just trying to find the route right outfit for disguise uh trying to find the right weapon the right key card as well to get into certain rooms <laughs> it's like i was all playing the old doom or something console safe code is here which is really weird I, you know there's a safe above here but it's just really weird that it's right there in a public location I had to do it. I had to. <laughs> you know, you see someone just in, in the toilet with the door open, like that. You know, just when I bump into someone, I say sorry. Don't make me come back and kill you. Really tempted to. 
really weird. Like if you just bump into someone in this game, they always stop to interact like that. It's not like you really push them or something. Whatever. This is it though. Here's a guy which stole seven billion dollars. How do you steal ah, seven billion dollars? Capital, you made it. Come on in. Come in, good. Pam Kingsley, a pleasure. Mm. I watch your show all the time. You're even more lovely in the flesh. <laughs> and this is... Uh, Tyler Clark, producer. And this is our cameraman, Finley. Tyler and Finley. Splendid. Well, <clears throat> let's do this, shall we? Where do you want me? Uh, the light is nice over here. Yeah, how do you steal seven billion dollars? And I guess this individual, that guy there, sold the seven billion dollars. Uh, what would happen if that happened in real life? Would a country protect him? I mean, seven billion dollars can do a lot of money. Uh, can do a lot of work. Uh, one billion dollars can get uh, where I'm living uh, in Perth, Australia, can get a whole you know train line system set up, at least. It could also do a lot of road maintenance, okay, and Australia Australia is huge, so we really need a lot of road maintenance. Uh, this is weird because I'm what I'm being paid four hundred dollars or something just to push this button. Like everything's already set up. Like why do you even need me here? So camera rolling. Hey, when you got a sec, think you could do something about the lights? No. I'm upstairs somewhere. Thanks, bud. No, I'm not going to do anything about the lights. I've already started rolling. If I do something about the lights, it'll be just completely okay, obvious. The consulate and first row seats for the interview. Let me start Nicely by done, 47. How do you feel? Also, I don't even think this camera's right on. <laughs> like Look at that. It's not like the cameraman in um, uh, Paris <laughs> would have just ruined the shot of. Anyway, so at the back of this Swedish embassy, what I want to do is um, cause some chaos, create a ruckus. I need some kind of um, distraction because I need him to be by himself and I can well I can't do that I'm not gonna kill this guy while he's by himself that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to make each one of my episodes of Hitman I, I kill the main targets in a different way so the further this goes on I'm gonna have to be more and more creative it's gonna be hard anyway someone should come out of this door thank you yeah I've done this before at least half of this before. I haven't done all of it in one life. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make sure and off. Uh, this all flows. Uh, this guy here, though, Sir, out of my way. is obviously very different from all the others. He's saying out of my way, even though he's standing still. Hey, dude. I need his outfit. Whoa, whoa, stop right there. Let go of the body. Nice and easy. No one noticed, besides that guy, which I had to kill. Beautiful then. I was going to drag him up here because I think it's just a little bit safer. It's more out of the way. Lucky that guy didn't tell anyone. Um, I probably don't need those scissors. Now what I need to do is I need to initiate the evacuation procedure because he's still being interviewed right there. I need him out of there. So I don't want to kill him while he's inside this building. So here's a fire alarm. Let's push it. Pick up my gun. Uh, where's where's the outfit? All right, this is gonna work. Ah, oh, damn it! Damn it! Oh, good. Central, come in. Uh, I'm here now. Nothing is really going on here. Over. I need him to open this door, because before it was protected by a keycard. Oh, that guy will recognize me, he's an officer. So what we're going to do is we're going to be escorting him outside of the building. And we're going through this tunnel in the garage, which is a secret entrance, or secret escape kind of thing. But <laughs> I think it's really cool though. So I'm part of, part of the military which is attempting a coup and trying to protect this Swedish guy for some reason. Weapons hot, so we're ready to shoot. And I have stood on these steps before, turned around, and just killed all these guys before. I'm not gonna do that today though. Because <laughs> um I know a way of to get this Swedish guy in front of the general, which I also need to assassinate. Oh actually um I'll need um This is kinda weird. 
Oh crap. For some reason he will recognize me. Wake this, up, it's happening. That guy won't. Okay. <laughs> I needed the that code on that piece of paper for a certain reason. Which you could go back and just read that, I guess, or just watch and not get spoiled, I guess. <laughs> but I, I do that just to show you like where you can Got find it if you here, do Get up the perimeter and shoot anything that moves. Roger will call. We got a situation. Get ready to rock and roll. Here you are. It's safe. So I don't know if they'll tell tell these guys that um, one of their soldiers has been killed back at the embassy. You're and safe. That Everything's clear. <laughs> someone's disguised as a soldier. I was really nervous there. But we're inside this shoe shop because um, this is where we're supposed to be protecting him. Once there's a fire alarm or some kind of emergency to get him out of the building, which I think is really cool. <laughs> Uh, but what I also think is cool because um, when games do something like this uh, in a story or something, they just show the the building being protected. But it's, it is being protected. But there's actually a military checkpoint here. It really helps with the the world design when it, it it makes it more believable and more realistic. And when it's defended like this, just kind of cool, I think. That's anyway. okay. Oh what, I bumped you. So we're just gonna have to wait for this switch guy to Sergeant. move on. The school's just across the alley. Go on, we got your backs. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh god damn it! It's bugged. Ah, uh, this happens every now and then. He just cleans up his suit constantly. I don't know how to fix it. Don't know how to change it. Because usually he's supposed to go to the school. I escort him there. Then I meet the general. Thank God for auto saves. So it should work carry now. On, Private. I will carry on. Thank you. So I'll leave this place. We just got to escort this guy through some alley, which Please because wait. the the school where the general is at is just like literally next door. It's just on the other side of this wall, almost. Got to escort this banker to meet the general. Well, I, hey, how did you get in the? Wait, wait, is that? Um, I I don't know who that is. I don't know. <laughs> So we're heading to the school now. This school is um, it's abandoned though. It, well, it's not really abandoned. The military is there, you know, they're waiting for this Swedish guy to meet up with the How general. Are you, recruit? Well, if it isn't the most wanted man in Morocco, this is Gate. The package is secure. Over. Go. Hi there. All right, I love this though. I love how you can disguise yourself as a soldier and they won't okay. recognize you. Yeah, you know, they could have made every soldier be able to recognize you if you take this outfit. But no, no, oh. so that's pretty cool. I think I can't go down there because there's an officer there in the red hat. He'll recognize me. But you see, he's one of my targets, and the other target is right there. That's a general. He's waiting for him. So they're gonna go. Meet up right in the middle there, right in the courtyard. Because they're best buddies. This general and his army freed him from prison. They freed him from a, a truck. Got a few cops. General Reza Zaydan, keeper of the peace. See? Which slogan is your favorite? I like bankers or wankers. Yes. Well, just put me on a plane. I did what was asked of me, and now I'll take my money and run if it's all the same to you. We serve the same man, and we're very well provided for. Target's down. Now head towards an exit. Uh, an exit, an exit. Now this is... The exit is not what I really planned for. Oh. Up. We got they, won't, trouble. they won't recognize me? They don't think it's us that someone's running away from the explosions? Okay then, I think I'm... I think I've got it. Hello, recruit. Uh, uh hello. I, I'm just running because I'm a coward. Oh man, they don't even know! Love it though. I love this map. I don't know what's my favorite map though. This, so, oh, another guard there. Can I actually pick that? No. 
so that's another mission down. I think there's either two or three more to go. I'm still really liking it, man. It's a lot of fun. I'm streaming it a lot. I'm playing it offline a lot. I like trying to make these missions go as smoothly as possible for these videos, and then when something does go wrong, I kind of have to improvise a bit. Let me know if you like this style, though, and I'll make more. Just thumb up the video if you want to see another one, and I'll get right on that. I'll see ya.